Hey, what's up my dudes? All right guys, in this video, I'm gonna take you through a step-by-step -step instructional guide of how to set up the new, the latest firmware for the Chronos M, which is in beta version right now, and how to go through the Zen Studio, how to set it up, where to find it, how to install it, all of that fun stuff, and what the new requirements are. I'm also gonna walk you through the different settings that are a part of the new Zen Studio app, so without further ado, let's get right into it. All right guys, here is what we're looking at, right? First thing I need you to do, Google or Bing, or whatever search bar you prefer. We're gonna search Chronos Zen Downloads. See, it's the first thing on my list right there. All right, type it in if you need to, Chronos Zen Download. After that, you're gonna get your list of stuff. Here's what we're gonna click. First one on the list is Chronos Downloads. Click on that next. Now, here's the Downloads page. Here's what we're gonna look through right here. There's important information on this page that I wanna go over with you guys right now, okay? In this Zen Studio version, you can only use it with Windows 10 and Windows 11. So the older versions of Windows 7 and 8 are no longer supported by Zen Studio. Uh, Mac requires Boot Camp, which is uh, a guide to that right there. If you guys do have a Mac, then you can use this guide to help you set up Zen Studio with that. Chromebooks are not supported. Now we're gonna download that next, but the first thing we need to do is down here. Collective Minds Firmware Update Tool. That's what we're gonna work with first. We need to get the latest beta firmware before we do anything else. When you click on the click here button, you'll see down here it'll pop up, okay? You can open it, and now we've got this. So in order to use this, we need to use the Zen with the small 12 inch cable. And we're gonna set that up right now and I'm gonna take you through how to get the firmware. Make sure you take the small 12 inch cable, hook it into the top of your Chronos Zen. After that, hook in the USB portion of that to your PC computer. Then that small button right there, hold for two to three seconds. Okay, so from here, we hold that small button for two to three seconds and you're gonna see it pop up just like that all right on this as you scroll over you see it highlights in blue press on that use the latest version available we're not going to click that i want you to click this right here i mean you see how it's got 2.0.11 click on this bar scroll up to 2.1.0 beta 16 that's the one that we're installing now that that's there hit continue and then begin update this is how you update the firmware to the latest beta firmware for your Chronos Zen. You're gonna see this pop up. It's gonna take just a little bit of time. Shows flashing firmware. Please wait. Once it's all said and done, you're gonna get this to pop up right here. That update is now complete. You are good to go with your Chronos Zen firmware. That's all you have to do. Let's click out of that. And let's move on from there. Okay. Let's go through how to download the new Zen Studio app. So what I want you guys to do is hit the download button. What this is gonna do, it's just gonna take you to a new page. This page right here is very important. There's a couple of things I wanna go over with you on this page. A little welcome section, that's great. Specifically, do not pay for scripts. The readme first is really important. There have been people getting banned from the Kronos forums because they do not follow instructions and they're asking questions in their own sections. This guy likes to keep things very, very legit, and he writes everything out to its full and its entirety. So just make sure you respect the admin and try to read everything you can before going in there and doing things incorrectly. Let's just put it that way. On the left-hand side over here, here's what we're looking at. Step number two, install Zen Studio. All right, download Zen. Here's what we're looking at. This is the text that's gonna pop up. All you have to do is click on this text it's gonna come up over here just like the firmware did. Hit open. You're gonna get this, something in Notepad. There's a lot of good information in here that you guys should read through when you get the opportunity to do this. But for the purposes of installing the Chronos Zen Studio app, all you have to do is highlight this right here. It says Software Zen Studio V1.2.1 Beta 40. Copy the text, highlight, come over here, Put it into a new bar, hit your enter button, and then at that point, it's gonna come down here. It's gonna get the scan button, so it's scanning to make sure that it's safe. You will know that it's safe. At that point, right here at the bottom, again, open. You're gonna get an error message up front. Don't worry about that, hit okay. There you go. 
So, now that we're here, this is the New Zen Studio. You see library, compiler, program, device, and MNK settings, which is a new one. Why don't we go over some of these while we're at it, huh? So make sure you plug in the longer cable to the right side of your Zen, and then plug in the part that looks like a USB cable to your computer's uh, USB port. From there, you'll see the update appear on the Zen Studio app. All right, guys, so here we go. What I'm gonna have you do is take your Zen, just like I said before, and plug in the cable to the right-hand side. Now, as you do that, here's what you're gonna see pop up. All right, now I'm kinda glad this happened, actually, because I wanna take you through this. You see how I can't get to the programmer and the compiler, right? I can get to compiler, sorry, I can't get to programmer. This happened before, and I was kinda curious what was going on. I'm gonna unplug and replug. And now it's popping up. So all I did was unplug and replug, and now the programmer is there. It has successfully synchronized, which is awesome. Okay, there's a lot of cool stuff in here, man. Um, I will make a video going over the M and K settings eventually. I have not done this yet, but I will do this eventually. I'll get through that, and we'll kind of figure that stuff out together. I already have my Doom Eternal game pack down here. This is my favorite one, bar none, when the Destiny game pack goes on the fritz with the primary and the secondary. So, from the beginning, here we go again. Go to Programmer. Now you've got your game packs over here on the right-hand side. There's a couple of cool features that I want to talk to you guys about today. But first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Destiny 2 Season of the Risen and I'm going to drag it down to slot number 2. From there you're going to get all the normal settings, okay? Let's say primary anti-recoil, since I use inverted, because I'm awesome. I'm going to put the value, see the little differences, like the new value shows up blue right there. Same thing at the horizontal. I just wanted to do a few of these. So that when you guys decide that you're going to go play, you understand that most of the stuff is the same. It's just got a nice fresh coat of paint. Now here's something really cool that I wanted to show you. After you're done setting everything up, aim assist, you know, put on controller or bats, whichever you prefer. How about number three right there? Scrolling down. All the other things, you guys can mess around with those. You know what most of the mods do by now. For example, primary mod adjustable rapid fire and it gives you a description of it right there this is what I really wanted to show you look export config that is awesome so you can actually put this to your desktop save what you did and then you can copy and paste that for somebody else to import it as their custom settings so if you found that the best uh, anti-recoil for example for like the Soros regime or something like that is at 48 I can then export that, save it to my desktop, and upload it to my Discord server for anyone to try it out. Now these are not things that you should be paying for. What I might actually do is put a lot of these export configurations onto my uh, spreadsheet, which is free to you guys by the way, so that you guys can just copy and paste the configurations that I found most effective, make it a little easier on you, almost like it's plug and play. Pretty cool stuff right there, man. That is a nice quality of life update. All right, so that is really all there is to it. Get in there, play around with it, figure out what things work for you. As always, I have Doom Eternal as my backup. This is the one that I use whenever my other one, my Destiny 2, doesn't work for me. If that ever happens, here's my backup one. Same thing, aim assist. You can adjust it, always adjust it in 10, so 10, 20, 30. And then I always like to use adjustable rapid fire, close, always remember when you're all said and done, no matter what you're doing, to hit this button right there, program device. It's going to program everything for you. And then you can take it into the game and start wreaking some havoc. Or if you need it for your accessibility reasons, go do your things. All right, my dudes, that's everything for the walkthrough. If you guys want to support the channel, there is a Patreon that you can sign up for or a PayPal if you just want to donate directly. That's awesome with me. Always helps out. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, the Discord link, just make sure you ask me in the comment section down below and I will give you an individual link. And again, thank you guys so much for your time today. Appreciate all of you. Love all you guys. Remember to keep it zen out there. Any questions, put them in the comment sections. All right, have a good one.